To plan a successful fundraising event, it starts with the end in mind. So what is the goal? And I would say, make sure you're planning out every minute of that event from the attendee's perspective. The minute they show up, what is their experience going to be like? Is there any anxiety about where they're supposed to go? Who do they know there? So you're really looking at your event from the attendee's standpoint and with the goal in mind. Oftentimes events are done to introduce people to your ministry. So make sure that you're putting your best foot forward. And if the expectation is that you're going to raise a bunch of money, then you need to make sure that you've started with that goal in mind and you have the right people in the room because you don't want to be just asking people that are just being introduced to your ministry for a bunch of money. It won't resonate. So the next thing I'd say about events is be creative. Lots of people have been to the standard chicken dinner gala event. Be a little creative. Invite an auctioneer. Have some interesting celebrity types get up and say something. And most importantly, make sure you're clearly communicating your mission and your vision at the event. Utilizing volunteers is a really great way to get more people involved with your ministry. And they can help with enthusiasm and also oftentimes become some of your best supporters. And lastly, it's important to keep in mind that events are, think of it in three portions. The first is preparing for the event and thinking through every scenario that is going to happen that evening or that day or that week. Secondly, you have to execute the event with excellence. And then finally, the last third is really the follow-up. And this is the part where most people kind of, they run out of gas because they're tired. But the follow-up is the most important part of making good use of that event and all that time that you plan. So follow up effectively.